tiny to two white maggots. Off the chasing tends to be she hit this now we're down to four. Right, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. So it's basically the same as what Dave's doing, except well I've got a different maggot feeder on. And Dave's using a ledger stock, so I'm using a swivel, like you know, I've got my hook length there. Then and I've got my coron bead. I quite I like using these. If you've seen the other videos I use them a lot. But yeah, it's just run a setup again. You know, if it, um if the, if it snaps, uh, this is gonna come off so the fish doesn't carry it around. So I was using a shorter hook length uh, before I had breakfast, but it wasn't doing anything. Uh, it just wasn't hooking the fish. As soon as I got bites, they just as if they knew the weight was on. So I've made it a bit longer. You know, about that, and about when I first cast, uh, about two minutes later, I caught that tench. So it's working for me. Yeah, I'm just going to put two white maggots on. Put the maggots on first. New hook. You want to make sure there's no, no like blood coming out because they don't behave like they should do when in the water. You want them going around like that, moving frequently. Right, let me just put the maggots in my feeder. See, I'm filling it to the top because I need to get these fish feeding. And I'll probably, later on, I'll probably do about half full because I'm getting quite a few knocks at the moment. So, yeah, I'll tell you when I've caught another one. So keep watching. Oh, this is, here's a tent, it's a nice little fish. Uh, good little fish. We've got a rod here, we're starting to catch a few fish now. Well, I just caught this little rad. Um, maggots on the maggots tank. Say about well, just over a pound. Maybe. Another tent here. They keep on coming. Right, you know, uh, me and Dave caught a tent, haven't we? So. Uh, we've seen loads of carp and uh, shoals of uh, rud. There's absolutely loads of rud and stuff. So we're going to go do a bit of surface fishing for the carp, just to you know, give it a go. We'll probably go back to tench after. So, right, I've got a fish on. A little comment. I just stuck this in there, and straight away, I can't wait for this. In there for about two seconds. I'm using quite a strong line for this carp pound line. Stop promoting any snags. Right, this is common. Uh, got this hook out. Bob's hook straight out. Caught just inside the lip. Let's have a quick look at him. I got him in quite quick because I didn't want to spook the rest of the swim. So it's probably going to be a bit jumpy. Yeah. Lovely little common carp. Lovely fish. Took me all the way around here. I remember I used quite a strong line because I didn't want to go into um, any weeds or snags. So and it's on a size 12 hook as well. And it's a lovely fish. Right, I've got a carp. It's been absolutely running like crazy. Straight into those snags. Look at that, it's been giving me a good fight though. I love using this little rod because it's light. Yeah, it's a good fight. There's a mirror. It's not a bad one. God, every time it comes near me, Oh, it's like crazy. Not around the snags, not around the snags. I 
get me. <laughs> Come on. Up you come. Alright, his cup. Plain okay. red. Right, we've had a great day at Long Mark Island Fishery. We caught the tank just we came for. And we even caught some little rod and some good tank, um, little car. So it's been pretty good. Yeah, me and Dan are now we're more than halfway through our chasing 10 species challenge. We've caught six species of the hit list and four remaining one trip now, so it's looking up for us. Um, but me and Dan decided that we want to break for like two weeks yeah. because we're getting quite low on money and we can't afford all the bait and going to these fishing places. Yeah. So we'll so we'll see in like a couple of weeks time. Don't forget to go to www.gocart.webs.com and go to our YouTube channel for GoCart.